y'all are excited as I am about this, but as you can see, I got an M3. So um, I don't want to just stand here and be boring. So let's hop in the car and then I'll do the driving while I'll do the I'll do the talking while I'm driving. It's about time I have a car that sounds halfway decent, you know? Alright everyone, welcome back. Get used to what you're seeing here. This is gonna be a familiar side on the channel from now on. So I thought I'd just do the majority of the talking in this video inside the car and driving it, uh, just so it wasn't so boring, kind of a little more, a little more interactive. If you guessed E92 M3, if you guessed correctly, I have wanted one of these cars for so so long. Um, I even considered it over the M4. However, I didn't want to give up like a bunch of the new technology and. Comfortability, com comfort comfortability of an M4. I finally got one of these, and I'm gonna be super transparent with you guys. Like, I wanna I wanna be as like real as possible with all this stuff. Obviously, by the title and thumbnail, y'all are probably wondering how much I paid for the car. So I got this car for 14 grand, um, 14,000 American dollars, and I would like to think this is the cheapest clean title. E92 M3 I've ever seen. Um, it is Melbourne red, clean title, six speed, which was the, my, my main concern with buying one of these that I was looking for was six speed and AC. I didn't care what color, I didn't care if it was E90, E92, interior, nothing, doesn't matter as long as it's clean title, six speed, and has AC. So the car is right around 100,000 miles and on this platform in a car that's almost 20 years old, that's not really too bad and I mean this car is gonna be a project and if I wanted to buy a perfect car which I'll show you guys when we get out um, there are some flaws obviously but if I wanted it to be perfect I could have just sold my kidney or something and got a cleaner one you know so I personally wanted a project car that I could build with you guys and kind of show y'all like you know I, I don't want all my content to just be like sliding around drifting driving mountains like I want you guys to, you know, have something to watch and follow along and, you know, kind of connect to, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? And everyone's probably like, oh, like, what about maintenance? Da, 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 that car's so unreliable, 100,000 miles. I have rod bearings and all the, like, necessities on the way, um, and they will be installed within the next week. So, sadly, I can't go too crazy on the car until then, just because I don't want to risk it. If you know anything about them, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. I know someone with an E90 M3 with 200 plus thousand miles and their factory rod bearings, no problem. But being that I got this car for as cheap as I did, I want to take advantage of that and not have to rebuild a motor. We're going to take it easy for today, but I promise you guys next video next week and the following videos with this car, it'll be properly driven just like every other car on the channel. I'm for sure going to make this probably the loudest E92 M3 ever. Also for all the people that watch my videos and make comments about me driving a DCT car and saying I can't drive manual, look at me now guys. Y'all have nothing to hate on now. sense like it feels like everything's happening for you and I kind of get that same feeling on the F80 platform not as extreme but still like the steering just kind of feels dead and I think that has to do with the electric steering or hydraulic steering electric I think it's electric steering correct me if I'm wrong guys I'm still I'm still learning but a car like this and even my E36 when it was before I was into the whole YouTube thing the E36 M3, I'd drive it all the time, and it felt great. It was just like, 
you felt everything like you could feel the road you could feel the car like underneath you you know like it felt like you were driving the car not you were riding in the car if that makes sense but that's why I wanted to get a platform like this is so I can personally become a better driver and have fun doing it also if I'm making weird faces while shifting cut me some slack uh, it's been a while since I've driven a manual car I this is like this is a dream car of mine and I know it's probably sounds kind of weird y'all might be like why would your dream car be like 14 grand like why would it be like a McLaren or a, something like that or a Porsche but guys this car in my opinion is one of the greatest M cars of all time like sure it has its problems just like any other M car but like the sound the driving feel just being around them as much as I have I've always wanted one just wasn't able to I saw this deal pop up and dude I just got hit by a sprinkler definitely a big step step up for me in terms of content um, but I just I don't know I feel like this is a car I've always wanted and I felt like this was a car y'all would enjoy watching I mean who doesn't like a manual V8 car that's extremely loud and has an LSD like I figured it'd be perfect but yeah I'm gonna put the car up now kind of freaked out about the rod bearings so uh, I'm gonna park it uh, get out kind of show you guys around the car point out the flaws and like I said I want to be completely honest with you guys and open I'll show you everything that's wrong, every little defect or paint chip or missing something, whatever. I'm gonna show you guys and show you kind of what you get when you pay the price that you do for one of these cars. You just can't be that. So yeah guys, here it is. Uh, I made it to this little nice area. I'm gonna show you guys around the car. And like I said, it's easy to make it look good um, on camera, but now, you know, I'll kind of point everything out. So starting at the front of the car, paint is really fading around where the headlights are. Um, I'm assuming the front bumper has been resprayed before, or this might be aftermarket. I don't know. Cause usually BMW paint doesn't do that. Um, then there's this, which I'm not sure what happened there. Um, and it's missing the tow hook cover, which obviously front bumper, not too bad, uh, kind of annoying, but you know, it's, it's replaceable. So, uh, moving on to, oh, the window trim. Um, again, I don't know how well camera picks it up, but it's just really faded. Um, so that's not really a big deal either. And like I said, this car, it's not like there's anything bad wrong with it. It's just like a couple little things that need to be addressed. Um, another thing, the window tint in the rear peeling up other than that it's really only the rear bumper um the rear bumper only needs paint so here let me show you guys again i'm not too sure how good the camera does at picking this up but as you can see paint's like cracked the clear coat's cracked and peeling but other than that the outside of the car is pretty much perfect uh the paint looks great um you know just the front and rear bumpers but hey I'm not saying it's clean, but for the price, it's pretty clean. Now I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Um, the inside's pretty much perfect. Um, the only thing is the iDrive control button. It works, but like the menu button doesn't work. It looks like someone tried to glue it up um, and that someone might've been me because it was broken, but but yeah, it did not work how I uh, anticipated it to, but it was just a quick fix so I could listen to some music. Um, but yeah. Seats are pretty clean. Um, you know, you have your typical, you know, fading spots or creases in the leather. 
but steering wheel's nice. But yeah, it drives good. Everything looks pretty good interior wise. So. Also, I'll show you guys the engine bay. Um, the Okay, that's another thing, the hood struts. You know, don't really work that well, but check it out. So clean. Like everything is so clean. Besides the valve covers, they're a little crusty. Um, but again, not that big of a deal. As long as it drives and um, shifts good and plays music, that's all I care about. So yeah, guys, let me know what y'all want to see with this thing. I haven't even washed it yet because I wanted to make sure the video was like as real as possible, you know? I didn't want to sugarcoat anything. I wanted to show you guys what you get when you pay the price you do. So um, yeah, I think with a little paint correction, fix the front and rear bumper, this car will be pretty much perfect. I can't wait to start doing stuff to this thing. Like I said, I've wanted one of these for so long. So this is, I'm really excited. I'm very excited about this car. I hope you guys are too. And that's gonna conclude today's video. Um, I know it's not as action packed as most of my previous videos, but this is just the beginning for this thing. I promise we're gonna deliver in terms of content with this car. Um, it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm really excited. So uh, I appreciate you guys. Leave a comment below what you think. Any suggestions with the car, what y'all wanna see. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next Monday with some new rod bearings and a loud M3. So, see you guys.